Okay, so here's the vacuum bag uh, clipboard and simple boat. And you can see that we have resin seeping through all around the edges. This is we have a porous pill ply, so some go through on the breather cloth. We have quite a bit coming through here. Uh, we were able to push down the bridging so we don't have near as much bridging right there. We have some wrinkles here, so that will be above the pill ply. So we probably have a little bit of bridging uh, right here. Anyway, we're going to keep the vacuum on it and uh, we will uh, debag this uh, for uh, next week or the next part of this and we'll have a separate video on that. Patrick is mixing up epoxy for the heated press mold clipboard and uh, we increased the amount of epoxy a little bit for it Okay, go ahead. So the laminate wasn't centered on the peel ply, so he's going to flip it over and he's going to adjust the bottom. See, this is why you, you center it the first time. Okay, we need to be very careful here, we don't want to adjust the laminate. You should really lay it down on one side. Okay. Okay. So what he's going to do at this point, he's going to put his hands, so we got uh, the long side and short side there. He's going to slide it the long way in. Now just keep your gloves on there. Okay. Hold it. 
Okay, take it. Aaron, you hold that open. And he's going to slide it in to his envelope. Okay, Patrick, you got a pill fly hanging down there. You got to think about what's going in. Okay. And you might want to have... Okay. So... Let's one corner in first. Okay, just... Okay, slide it in like... Slide it in that way. I'll slide it in this way right here. Okay, straighten it out. Okay, now put a hand underneath it, Patrick. And slide it in there. Next time we make the envelope bigger. Okay, let's set it down. Okay, let's get uh, dry gloves on, clean gloves. Okay, so we got the, this uh, cleaned up and we're going to tape it here now. So we're just going to tape it a couple spots. All this makes it so we don't get a epoxy, um, so we don't get epoxy all over our press. Okay, so we got the mold. Okay, so put the part in the mold the way it's supposed to be go supposed to go. Okay, and so you're gonna locate it with you're gonna locate it based on the. Um, the core. We think it's good? Yeah. Okay, let's get uh, aluminum, I mean, yeah, aluminum plate, Teflon coated aluminum plate, put over it. Okay, let's, while we're here, let's clean up the rest of that stuff. We can throw the rest of that away there. So make sure the, oh, we got to put a, a breather cloth in between, just a minute. So we're here with the part that was in the heater press and Aaron is lowering the cross head so he's going to pull that out now. So you have to grab it kind of hard there and notice some epoxy is solidified. I'm going to take this over to the table.
Okay, now we're gonna debag the other part here. So, pull this bag off. And to do this, make sure that you don't lose the two pieces to that. Okay, so we have pill ply. Retract your knife there. We have a peel ply under this stuff. So remember our lamination looked pretty rough for this thing. Let's look and see how it goes there. But before, let's do this first. Looks good. We can... goes in the trash. So here's the clipboard that Aaron did. So we can see here. Looks good. And on the back side So we had a little bit of uh, wrinkling around there. We put filler in this, but uh, that looks good. A little bit of rough from the. Pause. No pause. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, so here's our finished boat product. Uh, we're going to do some post processing. We're going to trim off this edge and make it a nice clean cut. Then we're going to sand the edge. And um, after we get, get done with that, we're going to apply a, a final coat of resin with some pigment in it and make it look real nice on the outside.
So right now we just apply a thin layer of epoxy on the very top. It will give you a very fine, nice finish of the pills. Yeah, we, we also added a thickener agent into the epoxy this time to uh, help thicken it up. and It helps fill in any little holes or pinholes or anything that wasn't fully cured. It wasn't fully uh, filled in. So right now I'm, I have the boat. This is the inside. I'm doing the inside first. And then I'm going to flip it over on this paper towel and do the outside. All right, here is the uh, final clipboards with their final coating of resin. We kept the colors the same to distinguish which clipboard was which. And uh, since we had dark colors anyways, a new color would come out kind of weird. So here's the boat. The inside of the boat is also has a thin coat. You can't see it because it's upside down. But uh, there you go. We're just going to wait for these to cure. And yeah going to look at the uh, clipboards after they've had an extra coat on them. This is the clipboard that, sorry about that, this, this is the clipboard that it was in the press in the mold and it looks very good except they look like right along here. Let's see if I can find the right angle. There it is. You can see there's a big strand of coarse fiber that was in there and that caused it to have an indentation so that so this was uh, put like this but you can see there's some runs and breast strokes to really make this a high quality one it would need to be uh, sanded down again and um, and then have uh, more epoxy and filler put on but it would have to cure flat and um, so that it would be so that it would uh, be a nice and smooth surface so when they're sanding I don't think they sanded these edges right there or the, the top and bottom but if you look at all the edges right here it all looks pretty good um, the only thing that we forgot to do on these clipboards is we forgot to insert a piece of wood or aluminum a hard spot right here so when we clamped in the clips or that they would have a hard spot to be attached to Anyway, uh, this clipboard is, is uh, high quality and it was completed quicker than the other one because it was in the heated press and only needed a half an hour to cure there. Okay, going to look at the other clipboard. This was the vacuum bagged one. So we're looking on the back side. You can see also there's some flow where the fill the epoxy went down there so that means they put too much on at one time and it flowed down we also have a slight indentation where let's see if i can find it uh, i guess with the light shining on it anyway right there uh there you can see a little bit anyway uh, that's where a coarse fiber laid on top of it and when the vacuum bag, there you can see it, uh, when the vacuum bag pressed down the pressure then it left a little indentation when it cured. So that, but you can see uh, we have around the edges we have a little bit of indentation. So this is the back side. Looking at the front side even though we had fine fiberglass over the coarse fiberglass, you can see the coarse fiberglass, the imprint is going through, and you can see up there on top, uh, we have 
the coarse fiberglass is pressed around. So the edges are trimmed very well and sanded. Um, but really to make this smooth, we'd have to sand it on the flat part on here too. And then, and then cure it and then paint some more resin on it and let it uh, dry flat so we have very smooth surface there. So that would take some more time. Anyway, other than that, it's very good quality vacuum bagged clipboard. Only thing is the equipment was cheaper for this uh, than the heated press one. We didn't use a mold. It just took longer to uh, cure and you can see it's not quite as smooth and flat. Anyway, you can discuss the pros and cons of each in your report. Okay, now looking at the at the boat. Um, so you can see that they painted some more around there, filled it. Um, if you were going to make a true boat, uh, probably have to do something with the edges. Hold on here, I'm going to try to pull the paper cloth, the paper towel off. Uh, they shouldn't have put this on the paper towel because now what that's all impregnated. So we'll have to trim all that off again. Remember anything that will suck up the epoxy. So the inside looks good. Smooth there. The outside I'm sure it would hold water, but we would going to have to trim and sand the edges here again. Now we talked a little bit, says uh, we have, it's not a smooth surface because we didn't have a mold and also plus uh, vacuum bag shrunk everything, you, you know, the laminate very tightly around the uh, foam board and we didn't try to match that up as carefully as we could have because I was trying to show you the process, not not a fancy boat. So this would be structurally sound and be watertight, but if you wanted to have a really good looking boat, then you need to spend some more time to match this up. Also, we could make a filler and fill in some of this stuff. Uh, and then Fill it in, sand it down, fill it in, sand it down. Other than that, it looks, it looks good and it's lightweight but strong. Okay, so um, I will see if we can get a uh, clipboard clip put on one of these today just to show the, the process.